I saw these bad boys at Lowe's and I was like, dude, I could put this on a go-kart, bro. Oh, we officially put uh, wooden wheels on a go-kart. Beautiful. So yeah, I skipped the boring part. Didn't show how it was made. You just cut some holes in there. I feel like I could do some off-roading in this though. Maybe some burnouts. We'll see how the, the wood wheels handle. I'll do the full test, see how, see how they work. But yeah, man, these things, I got them at Lowe's for like seven bucks, so it's a good deal. I think it's got a lot more off-road potential now though, now that it's up here. Back again, this time not on street tires, on wagon tires. Now that we got it on buggy wheels, we're gonna see how good it off-roads. I got it on camera. Well, that was quick. I think I should get some longer studs for the rear ones and we can retry it. Got the extended studs on there. So now we can take advantage of the whole inch of wood. An inch is a lot. Dude. An inch is a huge amount. Anyway, that's thick wood right there. way stronger bro i hit the brakes in the back and slid out and they didn't break dude the tire is kind of shut off look at this it like dotted a line i know dude it actually kind of worked though we should see if we can light it on fire by drifting Tires now, bro. I was thinking, I was like, dude, if, if this wood splinters, I'm like dead. I was like, that's why I'm not gonna do it for so long because I don't have like anything protecting me. But it actually doesn't smell that bad either. What kind of wood did you say this was? This is teak wood. Ah. I threw up a lot of smoke. You know, it's a whole plume, bro. Hey, bro, this thing is tough. Like the these rear wheels, we did it right, bro. As long as the front ones don't break on me. But like I said, most of the weight is in the back and that's where all the power is. And I'm mainly in the back of the cart. So most of the stress is on the back one. So hopefully those fronts can hold out being the weaker version, the version one. Oh, I really did burn away some of the ground. You're not wrong. It's like a little bowl. If the camera can see that i mean you can feel it but the ground has definitely been smoothed away all right we should try some more stuff Dude, honestly, you know what I'm thinking? 
Yeah, just wood glue this back together. Yeah, I was saying, oh, yeah, this one's here. This one's here. Where's, wait, Yo. where's that piece? I don't see it. Bro, what? Dude, no shot, bro. This is definitely it over here. <laughs> it flung all the way out over here. Dude, I'm so lucky this thing did not hit my truck. Bro. You know, I was all the way over there. I think that's it right there. That goes somewhat in here. Yeah, no, we got this, bro. We can just put it back together. Jesus. Yeah, just kind of put it back. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, this is going to be worse. Now we have all the right side. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> no! Bro, we gotta get it back and glue it on, bro. I got JB Weld. I got JB Weld. Dude, parents are gonna. They're gonna. Dude, there was a tornado warning that came in like a few days ago. I'll just say a. I'll say a piece of wood hit it. Just feel like, oh. No, like, and I'm not lying. No piece of wood actually hit it. Dude, that was crazy, bro. I, I heard it hit, like, come right at me. I was like, oh, shit. No, the wood's in the water, but where's the plastic? Oh, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. Dude, we're good. We're so good. I can I can put this back. That's the backside, though. I, I, I don't care. That's part of it. Like. Well, we can, we can work something out.